What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike, and today we're back into action. We got the pitch here, and we're hoping to keep this undefeated streak going. First game against this team, we did well. And I'm expecting us to keep that on repeat. We have a couple new faces. We've had injuries. We've got people that can't make it. It's a late night game, 10:30 p.m. But without further ado, I won't. I won't keep you waiting. Let me know what goal you like best. Hopefully, we score a few. But let's get into this. For today's lineup, we've got Alex in goal, Tim and Anthony on the defensive side, Chris in the midfield, and myself and George up top to go with Felipe on the bench. And unfortunately, Hans was unable to make this game, and Tyler pick picked up an injury. Nothing serious, nothing severe, but he needed some additional time to make sure he's getting right. We want him back at full health, uh, as you see some wall work. Uh, that's going to be tough to say quick. Beautiful step over from Anthony. Effort wasn't bad. Goalkeeper gets down. It's still nil-nil. And uh, we came out a little bit slow. Not going to lie to you guys. It wasn't the most enthusiastic start, even with some of the shots that we're taking. Tim on a, a classic rebound there off the wall. I think it might have been a nutmeg. If not, definitely went right beside the goalkeeper. It was close. Look at this throwback turn. And I need you guys to do me a favor. In the comments do me a solid I want to get some dialogue I want to get to know the people that are supporting this series whether you're a viewer whether you're a subscriber thank you you are saluted and I want to know what type of player are you be honest are you a striker that's looking to get in behind a speedster are you the classic target man such as myself do you play as a winger the number 10 are, are you a midfielder that's breaking up plays or a midfield maestro how about on the defensive end center back Ball winner, fullback, that, that's looking to attack, a sweeper. Talk to me in the comments as they get the equalizer. Not great buildup, but uh, he did the most with it. it. It wasn't good from our end either. We, we weren't communicating that well in the first half, and I've just seen us play much better. Good effort from Tim. I know we're still watching the first half. I'm not saying it's just going to be a disaster, but whenever you feel like you're just not that crisp, as Anthony's got his eyes up, finds me off the wall. It's a beautiful ball, and that finish is just not good enough. From point-blank range, you've got to do better. And sometimes I find if I have too much time, I overthink opportunities, or I might even rush them because I'm surprised that I have so much time. I feel more comfortable with a guy kind of hanging on my shirt hanging on my back. I don't know if you guys feel that way. If you played a lot of football, do you prefer to have a bunch of time on the ball? Do you like it when it's moving at game speed? Not the greatest defense. And unfortunately, Alex with a bit of a goalkeeper error, uh, that's not common. Yeah, usually he's our savior. As Chris finds my feet, I turn. And it's unfortunate that I didn't get more height or even if it was drilled on the ground, I think the keeper would have had a lot more trouble dealing with that shot. It had decent power, but it was just missing something dirty, something nasty. Uh, as you see, I'm looking for a bit of a lofted cross. Doesn't work out. Felipe still working hard. And, and this team tends to make mistakes out of the backfield if you can do a good job pressuring, speaking of. Uh, but we were just not clinical. And part of that's my fault. As a striker, as somebody that takes pride in kind of being a rude Van Nistelrooy in terms of right place, right time. Score a lot of ugly goals in, in my life. I didn't do a good job of that, and we left Alex in no man's land. We're down 3-1, halftime. It's unacceptable. I yelled at him at halftime a little bit, said we got to pick up our energy. Uh, and we almost start out in a real bad situation. I think Alex actually got a fingertip uh, to make a save there. He's making up for that second goal. Uh, and sometimes we just don't help him out enough. And I actually filmed a video recently that's going to come out on the channel in the near future where Alex is playing outside. And he's a small goalkeeper. That's, my... that's the reaction to not being able to finish this. He's a small goalkeeper. So I wondered how would he perform outside. You guys will be impressed. Anthony, onto that left foot. Look at the power. Man, can we get a clap? A little golf clap it up. Keeper. With a decent clearance here, and I think the opposition stepped on Tim's foot. It was an accident. Nothing malicious, but you can see Tim is down, and he's out. Uh, he's got an ankle sprain. When this happened, I was just hoping nothing popped, that it wasn't something to deal with your knees. That's always a more severe injury from my experience. If somebody tears uh, 
something in their knees, you're in trouble. However, sprained ankles, they get better. If you break an ankle, nah, you're going to be out for quite some time. But he sprained his ankle. We walked him off to the side. We thankfully had that one substitute. And it, it did motivate us a little bit. And it was the sixth foul, coincidentally. So Anthony steps to the spot. And he knows what to do with it. Of course you know what to do with it. Thank you, Anthony. We appreciate you uh, making sure that we're even in this matchup. Three all. And I could tell that we were in the driver's seat at this point. We had better energy. We had, we had started to wake Oh, wake up. Mike, how do you miss that, man? Just an onslaught of opportunities here. George is looking. I think he had three shots in, in the span of three seconds. Here you go with Anthony. He always squares up the opposition. He's looking to dribble. He's looking to take on people. Because he's got a lot of strength, uh, and he's kind of got a big body, as I find George. What a save. That's special. I can't believe he made that save. I think a lot of people underestimate Anthony because he, he, he looks like a big dude. You don't think that he'd drop his shoulder and, and run at you. Uh, and, and George might have the most powerful shot, actually, on our team, as long as you can get it on his dominant right foot. Chris who is another player that I think people often underestimate because he's not big. As you see, the ball, shit, it might have hit my foot. We don't know. But, hey, we get the goal. Right place, right time. Classic rebound. We've seen it in FIFA. We're seeing it in real-life football. But back to talking about Chris as he's kind of pressing here. Great find. Oh, even better save from Alex. Chris played at HBU, so that's Houston Baptist uh, University. It's a Division I actually here in Houston, but uh, Chris is kind of a little bit of everything. I I'm not going to say he's, he's a defensive threat or he's going to be someone who's going to break up a lot of plays, but when you're looking at the offensive end, he reminds me of a Pirlo, uh, but at times he, he has some skill moves that he just pull out of nowhere, uh, and I can always appreciate that. He's scored some incredible goals uh, since playing with him over the years. Chris is actually a little bit older as well. I think he might be 30. He's got to be getting close. He just got married. Oof. As you see, we're kind of getting effort on effort on effort. A little quick turn. I like that. Finding some feet. I should have been there. That was a poor job on my, my anticipation as Felipe is looking for someone. Finds Anthony. Anthony's still in good shape. One step over. Cuts inside. Fakes a shot. And, ooh, that's just that's crisp. That's nice. The placement's on point. We come back 5-3. We needed that W. We cannot drop points to them. Not drop points to that team. There's not that many squads in this league because they want to make sure they're keeping a high level at uh, the Division One stage. Shaking hands. That's a wrap. Let's go. I'm not looking for excuses, but it's late at night. I had a long day. I've been playing a lot of FIFA, and my finishing was off. Like, if I had to give myself a card, I'd have a 30 for finishing. Or the goalkeeper needs to be the MVP of this match. Let's see what it looks like in the edit. Uh, either way, we skipped out of there with a win, but we looked flat, tired. I think people have to get up early tomorrow, and it showed. Thankfully, Anthony was good. Uh, I'll talk to him post-match. At least we had one guy that was outstanding, but the rest of us were all a step late to everything. How did you have energy at 10.30 p.m.? I don't know, man. I uh, definitely took a nap for about two and a half hours before this and uh, just came out and did my thing. You know I'm leading goal scorer, right? I, I believe that. I, you didn't have to put it out there. Yeah, I have saying, stats that I'm go just, into I gotta the videos. Myself, Cause that first one you said now, I was just like falling over and He shit. didn't like the rewind I had with them. No, no, just, calling me out like that. You know, I had a hat-trick tonight and I feel pretty good. They never expect me to put it over on the left and I just put it away. As I said in the very first episode, he doesn't really have a weak foot. It's a dominant and then your secondary foot. Yeah. And yeah. it shows. You keep faking and going yeah. strong with that. Our halftime team talk, I was like, we need to pick up the energy. <laughs> and his response was, I'm going hard. <laughs>